and uh, we're demoing tonight our Quick 240. It's a programmable logic controller replacement that uses open hardware and open uh, source software to implement uh, web type applications in, in an industrial environment. And so the demo we have here actually has our, our Quick controller, which is uh, in a very PLC-like form factor that's connected via ethernet to a wireless router. And then the wireless router is uh, sending ethernet data to an Android tablet that is rendering web pages that are being served by this board. So this, uh, uh, this little web page here lets you send uh, Git messages to the web server and select different industrial transducers on this uh, demo here. And so this is a uh, three color LED that you can spin this dial here and change the color of the LED. Or we could pick the stepper motor over here and control the position of the stepper motor. Or we can control the fan speed. There's a buzzer, but it's very loud, so we uh, don't usually run it. And then uh, we can also see all these web pages here on the Android are being served from this board. So it's uh, serving graphics, image, image data, text, HTML, and all these all these web pages are just uh, standard HTML that are on a micro SD card. Neat. So, um, <clears throat> what are some applications of this kind of technology? Uh, the we have a, a couple of early adopters that are using it for um, in an industrial automation setting for uh, actually sorting uh, cards that will sense humidity. Um, and so the, the board is, uh, allows uh, control of the, all the transistors in the automation and then um, there's a, uh, a, a user interface that the board can communicate via ethernet to allow people to control and uh, get metrics about how well the uh, production of the, the cards are going. Uh, we're using it in a, a medical application that is uh, pressurizing columns for doing drug testing. The product is, uh, like I said, it's open source. Uh, or it's open source schematic type device that's based on chipkit technology. And chipkit technology is, uh, it's a PIC microcontroller based Arduino form factor type device. So it's kind of a couple of levels of abstraction there to get back to uh, what people might be familiar with, Arduinos are quite popular. And so uh, what we're trying to do is take the hobbyist uh, Arduino platform that's very popular right now and put it into an industrial form factor so that uh, companies that are concerned about um, being locked into proprietary hardware in their automation systems can uh, use a platform that in the future you know, 10 years from now, if there's a problem, all the hardware, all the schematics, everything's open source, so they don't have to worry about the company might have gone out of business or discontinued the product, they, they'll be able to maintain uh, their uh, automation systems. So this board is a, a chip kit, uh, Max32, and a network shield that are in the Arduino Mega form factor. And so uh, these two boards together uh, comprise the bulk of what is inside of this box. And then this is the actual electronics that's in there. So it, it uses the same uh, or a similar concept to the shield that an Arduino uses, but we have these add-on cards so you could change the uh, functionality of all the connectors that are on the uh, device. All right, very nice, thank you.